landlords don't allow you know like foreigners and all that so like how, how mm. was the experience like that did happen to me and you have of course like the fancy you know like heating seat toilet seat. i do have the heated seat oh, with the, because i'm british so i have a lot of tea can you briefly introduce yourself sure so i'm stefan from england i work here as a model and i live in guangjingu awesome awesome so like why did you choose to live in guangjingu so I think it's really close to a lot of things I like. It's got the Oreni Te Kongwon, which is amazing. And it has the zoo in the middle, which is pretty cool. Oh yeah. It's close to Conde, which has all the bars and nightlife. Mm -hmm. It has Tuxom oh, by yeah, the river, yeah. which has a skate park. No way. And it's good for cycling. And it's easy to get to everywhere I need to go. Awesome. Easy awesome, to get to Line yeah. 2, easy to get to Gangnam. Mm -hmm. So. Oh yeah? Perfect. Word, word, yeah. word, yeah. So before, you know, like, you came to this place? Mm -hmm. Where were you staying at before? Before Jared, this, yeah. I lived just one more stop north in okay. Gunja. Oh, okay, cool. Yeah. yeah. And like compared to, you know, like Gunja, like how is Guangjingu? Guangjingu, it's pretty much the same place, oh, except okay. Gunja just was a little more difficult to get to where I needed to go. Oh, okay. That was the only reason. Yeah, this is a little sense. more convenient for me. Mm -hmm. What would you say the perks of living, you know, like around this place is? It really has a little bit of everything that I need. Good restaurants, good nightlife, good hiking, mm. good access to the river, a little bit of everything. And what would you say, you know, like the downside is? Hmm, the downside is often I need to go to Paju oh. for shooting mm. and it's really far from Paju. Oh, sure. So that's the one downside. You currently, you know, like live in an office still, mm -hmm. which is of course like a lot like in the US. So why did you choose to live, you know, like in an office still compared to like, you know, one rooms or like other type of apartments in Korea? Oh, I really wanted to have some feeling of two spaces oh. instead of just being in one space in one space where you eat and sleep and get ready and everything i wanted to have a separate place for sleep and one place for everything else mm -hmm. i thought it feels more more like a home you like walking like down the stairs like is it not like inconvenient it's a little a little <laughs> often if you go to the if you go to bed mm -hmm. and then you straight away you need to go to the bathroom Gosh. that's really annoying with the lights off and my stairs are not too safe so <laughs> there is a fall risk mm -hmm. but it's, it's worth the risk. In Korea, of course, like we have you know, like different type of payment methods, trying to like, you know, get a house and all that. So like, which method like are you currently on? So I pay a deposit okay. and then I pay monthly. Okay, so more like a rental then? A rental. Okay, awesome. Yeah. So like, if you don't mind sharing, like what was the deposit? Uh, my deposit was 10 okay. million won. Yeah, your your rent? And my rent is 750,000. 750,000, yeah. Plus 100,000 for the building fee. You know, like in Korea, like, good number of times like landlords don't allow you know like foreigners and all that so like how, how mm. was the experience like that did happen to me oh shit. not for this building for this mm. building it was fine everyone was really nice but i did get turned away from places in hapjong how did you find out about you know like this particular building did you use an app did you was a word of mouth how was it chikbang was the okay. app i used yeah and just walking around the budong sands and getting a little networking with them this is how his place looks like if you come in usually like in korean houses like you just have you know shoe closets like this <laughs> yeah it's um uh, it's a classic korean Korean thin. I would say it's pretty big though, like for an office cell. Yeah, it's bigger than I need. I think once you enter, I could just have like the kitchen. Do you usually cook here? I love cooking. It's not a lot of space to cook, okay. but it's enough. But I would, yeah. say it's, I would say it's like more than enough though. What do you have like in there? Like, so this is snacks, the snack cupboard. Oh shit, that is so nice. <laughs> snacks and plates. Nice, 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 nice. So it's a little empty at the moment. It's just a lot of cakes and protein bars and <laughs> tea because I'm British so I have a lot of tea. Oh yeah. A lot of tea bags. So like where did you get you know like those tea bags from? Uh, they're actually sent to me from England from my parents. Oh nice. So yeah it's essential for British people to drink tea. Oh yeah. So that's why I have so many. Beautiful beautiful. <laughs> I would say I really love you know like the way you arranged your kitchen. Where did you get them from? Almost everything is from Daiso. <laughs> oh Daiso. <laughs> Almost okay. everything yeah. And like where did you get the toaster from? <laughs> the toaster was a gift oh, actually nice. so I'm not sure. Okay. That is so cool. And yeah, of course, like you have your washer. Does it dry as well? It doesn't, oh, unfortunately. Shoot. And by the right, of course, like we have your bathroom, mm -hmm. your washroom. Can you open your like your... Sure. So this side is the skincare side. Okay. So I have a lot of skincare things. Most of them are things I've been given for free from shoots, okay. from skincare shooting. Oh, nice. So I don't actually know what many of these things do. <laughs> But I keep them anyway. Yeah. The other side is the hair side. Oh, so I have all my hair products, hair brushes. Yeah. And you have, of course, like the fancy, you know, like heating seat, toilet seat. I do have the heated seat oh, with the, yeah. the bidet. It's got the 
Oh yeah. The controls. Oh my god. Yes. A lot of controls, which also I don't really know what they do. <laughs> Going out, of course, like we have the fridge. You mind in like showing us like of course, of course. The fridge. the fridge also is not too full at the moment. Oh it just god, has yeah. a few beers and energy drinks. Classic, uh, you know, yeah, bachelor. <laughs> a lot of cheese. Oh yeah. Where do you get your cheese from though? From Emart. There is an Emart pretty close to here, which oh, yeah. is one of the big pluses. It's a big Emart in Conde. Okay. So you can get a lot of Western things there, which I which I miss. And of course, like this is a sitting room. I'm pretty sure like this is where you spend like most of your time. At, right. Yes, laying on this couch. I can see that. Yeah. yeah. So like, did the couch come with the apartment? Uh, no, almost all the furniture was from IKEA. Oh yeah. So all of it I put together myself. Oh shoot. Mm. That is so nice. That is so beautiful. So how much did you get? How much did you get a couch for? The couch maybe a hundred and fifty thousand. Oh wow! It wasn't too expensive. It was actually the cheapest couch they had in IKEA. Oh yeah. Because I bought it in a rush when I moved in. I had to get everything. I can see that. I can <laughs> see that. Like wow! Like the couch is so beautiful. And like this touch of blue though, like is so good. Like it just adds you know like color to the apartment. Yeah. Thank yeah. you. Yeah. I tried to keep the color theme a little similar so I've got like the dark blues and the whites yeah it's kind of that. the theme I was going for oh yeah, yeah. beautiful beautiful you, know, you, you literally like pulled it off like real good thank you you did, you did. I can see a skateboard are you a skater or something <laughs> I try I bought the skateboard and I skated a handful of times okay and now it's mainly just for decoration what is with the um king oh the king crown thingy <laughs> <laughs> this was oh it was from my birthday party in Kazakhstan oh, a few years ago no. yeah just, I was in Kazakhstan. Okay. And I happened to have my birthday there and they gave me a crown. I told them I'd keep it forever. I don't know, like, your place actually smells good. Like, what do you use? Thank you. <laughs> it's mostly this wax melting oh, sure. thing okay. I have. That, where did you get it from? <laughs> this was from Kupang. Oh, nice. Kupang, and I had a lot of candles burning before you came as well, just to enhance the <laughs> smell, just in case. <laughs> beautiful. So, like, how much yeah. did you get it for? I think about 20,000, 30,000. What is, what is that beautiful, cute, um, <laughs> flower what is well it like, it's yeah. christmas time and yeah. it's not real christmas without a christmas tree exactly this was from kupang as well oh wow okay. yeah i knew i needed a christmas theme a christmas tree so can you you know like show us like what's in your closet sure yes what so, is in stefan's closet so it's a little unorganized but i have okay so it's a little unorganized but yeah. i have my jackets on one side and then my everyday clothes on the other so you know shorts pants T-shirts, tank tops, and hoodies. Yeah. And the other side I have, so my padding jackets on oh, the bottom yes. yeah. and all of my shirts on the top. Okay, that is so, you have a lot of closet space. <laughs> I like, do. Now nah, it's just, it's just a bond. And I, like, is it too much for you? Do you think it's too much? It's a little too much. Okay. I think I could probably fit it all into one side yeah. if I needed to and have the other side just to have more space in the apartment. Mm -hmm. But it's the way it is and I'm happy with it. And I can see your love for plants. So like, how, like, is that a real plant? It is, yeah, they're all real and all still alive. Okay. So <laughs> these are just the ones that are still alive. I had a lot of other plants that died, oh, unfortunately. Wow. So I do my best. Awesome, awesome. Where did you get a plant from? Uh, Emart. Oh, cool. Emart, they for have a really much? good plant section. Yeah. This was 20,000. 20,000? 20, 20,000 and then I bought the pot and the stand and did all that stuff myself. I can see, you know, like a closet here. Like what is, what, what is it for? Oh, this is actually just the aircon. It's the aircon and the boiler oh, is all in here. Okay. And it's a little extra storage space. I have yeah. some shoes and actually yeah. some trash that I forgot to throw out as oh, well. Oh my God. Yeah. Yeah. We'll, we'll probably take a pass on that. Yeah. We'll <laughs> <laughs> beautiful, beautiful wallpaper here. Like where do you get it from? Also Kupang. Oh, nice. Yeah. I thought I needed some color. It looked yeah. a little empty. So can you take us to your bedroom let's go yes, yeah let's go oh my so, god so yes careful on the stairs it I is a little easy to fall oh my <laughs> god oh my god okay and there's not a whole lot of space up here so like how many times have you bumped your head here every day every day <laughs> oh, shit. always on this thing <laughs> oh my god yeah it's pretty low but i'll tell you actually like did like a great job i just keep you know like a whole bedroom theme like very simple Thank you. It's cozy. Yeah. Is it's that warm. A, yeah. Is that a king size bed? It's yeah, king size. I think queen probably. Uh, <laughs> More like queen. Yeah. I think I'm it's not queen. sure. Also, it was from IKEA. Oh shoot. Yeah. That is so beautiful. Maybe queen size sounds right. Yeah. yeah. Probably. And like the duvet, right? Yeah. Also IKEA. Okay. Also IKEA. Very soft. It's really very soft. soft. Very yeah. warm. 
Perfect yeah. for right now, but okay. too hot for the summer. Yeah. Way too hot. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah, I can see that. So like, what is it? Is that a fan of war? So this is, yeah, this is a fan. Okay. It's a little old, it's kind of noisy. Okay. But uh, <laughs> it works. So like, how do you stay warm up here, like during the winter? So this is really, really warm. Okay. This can keep you warm even with the windows like wide open. Oh wow. So this is enough. And the mattress too is a really nice mattress. It's really warm, really soft. Yeah. So like, Perfect. how much did you get the bed for? I think the mattress was around 400,000. Okay. And the blanket, the duvet, about 100,000. Okay. That is pretty affordable. Yeah, not too bad. Yeah. Yeah. So like, why are those closets over there like just empty? <laughs> <laughs> I have been, I've been trying to think of something to put in them since I moved in and I can't think of anything to put in them. If you have, you know, like any suggestions for Stefan to like, I don't know, beautify his bedroom, might as well just leave it in the comment section. <laughs> this beautiful, you know, like lights going on, like where did you get it from? So these from Ima as well. Oh nice. It's another Christmas decoration that I thought I needed. Okay. Because I miss Christmas a lot, so I wanted mm -hmm. to Christmas it up a little in here. Yeah, yeah, makes sense. So like are you gonna be spending Christmas this year like in Korea? Uh, this year, yes. Okay, cool. Yeah. I'd like to go home to England for Christmas. Yeah. yeah, I do miss my family, so it would be nice, but uh, I'll make the most of it here. And then, like, have you literally, like, ever sat down here to, like, just look at the view? Sometimes. If I do get the sunset on this side. Oh, nice. So, anytime there's a sunset, I'll always sit and watch that. That is... Which was the main reason I chose this side of the building. What would you like to know, like, share your final words to, you know, like, other foreigners, like, trying to um, get a place, or better still, Ooh. like, if they have a place, like how they can, you know, like beautify the place, like just, just any tips you like to give them. Ooh, well, for me, decorating my place, I tried to stick to one theme instead of just packing my stuff, my place with stuff that I liked. So I tried to keep it kind of neutral, a little minimalist and the same colors, which I think helped a lot for me. And I would say for finding an apartment, just going to as many Budong sands as you can, instead of just looking at Chikbang, go to like a hundred Budong sands and ask them the exact same questions. And one of them will have a good deal for you. Well, thank you for having me over. Thank you for coming. <laughs>